What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about awesome things to do in Belfast, Northern Ireland. This may come as a surprise to many people, but uh, Americans, on the whole, are not really aware that there is a Northern Ireland, as silly as that sounds. Uh, Americans talk about Ireland, we like Ireland, we know things about Ireland. Just a weird thing. P people, people here don't know about Northern Ireland, that there's a separation, that it's a thing. And certainly, I don't know much of anything about the capital of Northern Ireland, Belfast. Which is exactly why I thought this would be a great video to watch today. Uh, real quick, before we start, let's look up Belfast. Uh, not the movie, <laughs> but the capital of Northern Ireland, and bring it up on the map. Yes, I uh, sadly do need this, just to get a little visual understanding of what's going on here. Okay, we have the UK, zoom in, Belfast. It's on like the eastern, northeastern, northeastern uh, side of Northern Ireland, pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I was saying, um, this is... <laughs> This is pretty important stuff. I feel like this is stuff that a lot of Americans are actually missing out on. Learning, like, much more about really important places in the world that we should know about. But, uh, I don't know. We, we, I don't know what it is. Maybe we just tend to focus on American things. And that's, uh, what we, what we prioritize. But not today. Today, we look at awesome things in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Let's take a look. Welcome to Unilad Adventure. Here's a look at some of the best things you can do on a trip to Belfast. Okay. It's a beautiful city that's rich in historic culture and surrounded by stunning nature. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait a minute. So it's located this close to the coast. Yes, indeed. Oh, man, I love that. I love it. There's so many cities in the UK, including Belfa Belfast, that are uh, located on water. And it's just like ridiculous. Like I've, there's, it makes it infinitely more beautiful and picturesque and like, it's, it's just like awesome. And also at the same time, something that I guess I personally haven't experienced a lot in my life, like living on the interior of the United States, not on like the coasts or anything. So, and plus, even if you do in America, you don't get like amazing, like geographical features like this and geography and rocks and mountains and yeah uh it's pretty cool with the causeway coastal route being so nearby it's an absolute must if you're staying for more than a day you can hire your own car to drive this or book a tour where you'll be given more in-depth information as you take in the incredible views along the coast what oh there's a rainbow by the way what are we we're exploring the caves as well goodness gracious this road trip has a lot of highlights, but some of the most memorable include walking across the narrow oh. rope bridge at Carrickaree. It's a 20 meter bridge over a 30 meter drop with colorful blue waters below. Oh, I love this. I like this. I mean, this would be cool enough just to soak in the scenery, like the amazingness of being there on this little coast and climbing to this little island rock. But on top of it, you get to be on this semi death defying bridge uh, probably safer than it looks, but you can kind of pretend that when you go home back to America and I tell your friends, you're like, yeah, I, uh, balanced on a bridge. Uh, it didn't even have any handrails or anything. You can just like <laughs> exaggerate. It's a 20 meter bridge over a 30 meter drop with colorful blue waters below. I mean, it's still awesome. You can also see Sheep Island from here, which is heavily featured in Game of Thrones, not to mention the spectacular trail along the cliffside with great views all around. Wow. I'm not surprised that uh, Game of Thrones did some of the filming here. This uh, landscape looks borderline otherworldly, or at least like incredibly picturesque. Like this is just like, you can point a camera anywhere in Ireland and you get like amazing, open, beautiful landscapes like this. It's not fair. Then there's Cushenden Caves to explore. Okay. And the unmissable Dark Hedges, better known as the King's Road. Walking through the natural beauty of the Dark Hedges feels like you've stepped right through your television and into Westeros. 
you know? I usually wouldn't think, like, a, a row of trees would be worthy of its own visit, its own name, even. But these are some pretty awesome trees. Like, if ever- <laughs> these belong in some kind of storybook. Like, these have character. I will- <laughs> I, I appreciate these trees. Uh, not kidding. By the way, uh, I do hope we get some of the, you know, some things to do in the city of Belfast. Not that this isn't amazing, but I, uh, I actually thought this would be about the city, and so far we're just appreciating the insanely beautiful, like, uh, coastline and caves and trees, which is great, just not what I expected. We recommend stopping for lunch at a local Irish pub along the way. There and we there go. there are many that take advantage of the running theme. However, oh. if you're in it for the scenery more than the popular culture, then there are plenty of places that don't feature an Iron Throne. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like, if you're an American traveling overseas to Northern Ireland, that's like a huge enough deal itself to like soak in the culture of Ireland. I don't feel like it has to have this Game of Thrones thing mixed in, although it is, like, cool. If, and if you're a fan of the show, this is fun. But, uh, I'm here for, like, the, uh, the, the Irish culture, you know? After winding your way through the idyllic Irish countryside, you'll find yourself at the main attraction, the Giant's Causeway. What? This natural occurrence is often called the eighth wonder of the world. It was formed 50 to 60 million years ago by volcanic activity. How does this just form naturally, so geometrically? And it's like a bunch of rocks stacked on top of each other. Aliens. Aliens. No. <laughs> I. It was formed by a volcano? That's amazing. Nature, you're amazing. Wonder of the world. It was formed 50 to 60 million years ago by volcanic activity and features around 40,000 perfectly placed hexagonal rocks. What? Wait, what? How? 40,000 perfectly placed hexagonal rocks. How? What? They just say- You can't just say it was a volcano tens of thousands of years ago. That doesn't explain anything. What? Huh? It's hard to believe the feature isn't man-made. In fact, locals will tell you that the causeway was built by a giant named Finn McCool. Who ah. was building a bridge to fight his Scottish nemesis, a giant by the name of Ben and Donnet. Wow, this is amazing. I have never heard of this. This truly is like an eighth wonder of the world. This is insane. It's up to you what you choose to believe, but nevertheless, you'll feel like you're on another planet standing on top <laughs> of this unbelievable natural feature. Seriously. If you fancy a little adventure, there's a couple of trails you can walk with stunning views of the world famous Causeway Coast and North Channel. We okay. took the red trail, which heads up towards the organs, another great spot for a photo opportunity. The trail then swings around to an amphitheater viewpoint, this is what I'm talking about. You just, you just don't get scenic pathways and hillsides and uh, weird stone formations built by giants. <laughs> you just don't find this stuff in the United States. That is why it is so cool to take a look at these these things in in these faraway places. To uh, to, to me, anyway. The path here is closed due to a landslide. However, from this trail, you'll be rewarded with some of Ireland's most stunning panoramic views. Wow. This was one of our best days in Belfast. There's so much not to be missed along the coastline. A great guide can make your trip even more memorable, and we couldn't say thanks enough to ours. Oh. His name was Derek, and he worked for Macomb's Tours. They're not oh. paying us or anything, but there's a link to their website in the description if you're interested in who we went with. Yeah, wow, this was a good tour. If it brought them to these places he's mentioned so far, those are all, like, amazing. Awesome. You know, some people like to travel, and some of the fun is doing your own thing, and uh, exploring, like Northern Ireland, Belfast, I'd imagine, but others, like, probably like me, <laughs> wouldn't mind, like, an awesome tour guide just driving- drive me to, like, amazing places, I'll hop out and appreciate them, everyone wins. Okay. Back in Belfast, there's so much to see and learn about. If you okay. really want to get into the heart of the city's history, then take a tour around Crumlin Road Prison. What? They'll tell you <laughs> all about the troubles and the conditions inmates faced during their time what? in this literal hellhole. What? <laughs> what? How did, how did it get to here? How did it escalate to this? 
Uh, get a load of the rich history and culture of Belfast. Take a tour of its horrible, horrific prison. All right, <laughs> like, okay, yeah, I, I, I would do it. Um, it sounds really interesting. It's just like a strange starting place, I guess. Of the troubles and the conditions inmates faced during their time in this literal hellhole. Okay. During its time in operation, it was home to executions, escapes, hunger strikes, and riots. Jeez. Many of the people imprisoned here were innocent because you could even be held on suspicion alone. Right. And the laws at the time were so unregulated that mistakes were often made. I mean, to be honest, I think everyone, let's be honest, we'd all find the horrors and uh, trials and history of that rotten prison very, very interesting. Like, seriously, to walk around and, like, like they said, there's some, like, dark parts of humanity, kind of, in the history of the prison, but... Still, stuff worth learning about. Anyway, that, that was cool. <laughs> Just kind of kind of random. Now let's talk about the city center. There are plenty of incredible places to lose yourself on Belfast streets. Wow, wait, back it up. Look at this street, man. Talk about the city center. There are This, oh my gosh. This is just like, when I, <laughs> like me, typical American, when I picture like exotic, amazing place in Europe or something that's like not like America in a city this I, I, this is like my fantasy picture like here it's like ah this is what I kind of picture but it doesn't really exist no no it exists like look at this this is uh cool to say the least like just the architecture the buildings the stone uh road the benches and uh, it helps that they're filming it rather cinematically as well. Plenty of incredible places to lose yourself on Belfast streets. Check out the iconic Cathedral Quarter for some of the best bars in town. Okay. These picturesque streets are filled with everything from modern bars to good old fashioned pubs. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Let's not forget if you're uh, visit visiting Belfast, Ireland, if you're in Ireland, you gotta go to the pub, as they say. Uh, I guess you'd call it a bar in the United States, because uh, we don't even use the word pub in America. So that, that would just make it kind of extra special, Go into a pub. We celebrated New Year here, and we couldn't have asked for a better night out. St. George's Market is a great place to sample some of the local street food. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, local street food, yes. And the Crown Liquor Saloon is one of the most authentic Irish pub experiences you can have. Oh my it's gosh. a great place to stop for a rest when you're exploring some of the city's best sites. And with the average price of a beer in Belfast being around £3.30 or $4.50, you might end up having a few more than intended. Wow. Only three bucks? Four bucks? For a big old uh, Irish beer? In the most Irish pub you can imagine? This is like... This is actually a really good video. Like, everything they have mentioned so far is, like, super cool. Speaking of sites, the City Hall is a stunning building to explore. Okay. With marble pillars, beautiful clay work, and colorful stained glass windows all around. You yes. can pop in for a quick look or take one of the regular tours around the building. So if you have some free time on your hands, that might be something to consider. Wow. Then there's the Titanic Museum, where you can learn all about the construction, operation, and voyage of the renowned ship. The detail- Ooh, I like this. I was gonna say, you know, if you watch enough of these, like, uh, visitation videos to different cities around the world, everyone has their own museum, you know? A museum can be a museum, or it can be a museum. And this, I like this room. Uh, this, like, recreation of like an old Irish, uh, I don't know what this is, hotel? Living quarters? Anyway, this museum in particular actually looks interesting. Here is incredible. It's a real eye-opening experience that shows there's so much more to this story than you may have seen in Hollywood movies. You can yeah. even step on board the SS Nomadic, the last oh. remaining boat that was used to ferry people out so they could board the Titanic. Wow. There are many ways to see Belfast. You can get on the boat? You. You can actually go on it. Look at him. That guy's on it. Okay. Ferry people out so they could board the Titanic. There are many ways to see Belfast, but to really see it through a local's eyes, take a black cab tour. <laughs> oh, You'll be driven okay. around residential areas and taught all about the politics and religious conflicts that still burn strong today. 
There are murals all over these streets, hailing local heroes and marking important events in history. Oh, wow. What? There's murals everywhere. It's like the whole city is like a giant uh, cultural museum with all this art everywhere. The Peace Wall still stands today and divides different communities to help stop the ongoing conflict. Unlike hmm. the Berlin Wall, Belfast Peace Wall still stands by choice. Many people in Belfast still want the wall in place because it makes them feel protected. Huh. However, others disagree and want it to come down. Oh. To the ah, wow, I didn't know about this wall. I feel like I have to watch some kind of video on the history of this wall. This seems like pretty significant. I don't, I don't know nearly enough about it. This day, its gates are still locked at night to keep people safe. Huh. Finally, the most fun way to explore the streets of Belfast has to be with We Toast Tours. <laughs> you pedal your own bar around the town centre on an epic pub crawl, dismounting at some of the city's best known watering holes. <laughs> Wait, back it up. One more time. Or the streets of Belfast has to be with We Toast Tours. You <laughs> that does look pretty fun. That is funny. Is the pedaling actually moving it? Like, I guess so. It's not like they're gonna have you pedal for nothing. What if you get tired? Eh, just get drunk and you can keep pedaling. Pedal your own bar around the town centre on an epic pub crawl, dismounting at some of the city's best known watering holes. Okay. It's a great way to get a feel for the culture of the city, with each pub offering something different. You can bring your own booze for the ride or buy on board. Wow, a... that, this is great, this thing. Sober driver in charge of steering so you can have as much fun as you like. Look at that guy, <laughs> that guy steering. Is like the only one not drinking. He's just like, oh my god, another Thursday night. <laughs> Thanks for watching our guide to Belfast. Don't forget to leave your recommendations for Belfast in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked wow. it. And subscribe for more of the best travel tips and videos from around the world weekly. Wow. I like this. Wow, wow, wow. This was by Unilad Adventure. And I give it a like. I liked it. Wow, this app. Like, every single thing they mentioned was awesome. Things to do in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yes, indeed. Wow. Any, uh, let's take a look at some comments. Are there any funny comments, interesting comments? Northern Ireland is the place you will miss forever if you've ever visited. Such a lovely place. I mean, it looks like a lovely place, to say the least. Um, hmm... Love that Belfast was picked. Belfast is a really cool city. Um, spent, we spent five days in Northern Ireland. It was the five best days ever. Beautiful scenery. Yes. Yes, yes. I mean, this city looks great for fun stuff to do and fun stuff to see. Uh, I really have not had much personal experience learning about, like, well, for one thing, modern Northern Ireland and like past Northern Ireland. So you can get a good like appreciation of both uh, by like actually, you know, taking a trip to Belfast by the look of it. This was very good. I enjoyed this. I like Belfast. Looks awesome. <laughs> I'm glad I uh, watched this video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to the UK, Ireland, Scotland, Britain, uh, or England rather, Wales, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you later.